guys, what's up? Super Duck Man 24 here with uh, some unfortunate news. For those of you who don't know, the Turf Tiger, after being not able to mow since 2015, was put back into service this year, but has been plagued with problems. Um, one of the problems being we blew a um, hydro pump. Um, basically. The one of the hydro pumps blew, and then another problem was one of the spindles that controls the hand lever kept popping off. So, like, you could be mowing, and then the spindle would pop off, and you would have no control. Like, you could move the handles any which way, but it wouldn't do anything. Um, it's been running, it's been when it's been working, it's been working great. Um, but it's just been plagued with problems, and Castleton Solutions has been nothing but helpful fixing it out the best they can. I'm really hoping maybe what you're about to see is something that's, this is the recent problem. And what's really concerning is, is I don't know if it's the engine, or one of the bearings, or what. But I really want to try to see if we can just, over the winter... Well, I want to see if we can try to fix it, um, get it worked on over so it can finish the remainder of the season. But I want to swap engines on it. Give it a nice engine. I found a 26.5 horsepower engine for it that is made for Turf Tigers. Get that on there. Maybe see, and then maybe, you know, get some, give it a nice big tune-up. Get some new spindles for it. I mean, it's been working great, but that engine's just worn out for one. It's 97, but what you're about to see is what the turf, tiger, turf tiger is sounding like, and it's not pretty. And um, I've been looking at used ones on Facebook, and they cost a little bit. Um, I'm hoping maybe either uh, the guy, Mike Short, gets like another 60 or... Maybe looks into getting a used turf tiger. Because there's some nice ones out there. but Or maybe agrees and gets the new engine. Because the mower, I think, is fine. I think it's just the engine's wearing out. Let's give it some... Give it a new engine. You know, because... I, I don't want to see that thing go yet. I think it still has a lot of life left in it. Like, the body is fine. I think the engine's just, you know... <laughs> But that's just me. So I posted it on a um, landscaping group I'm in, and I got a lot of comments. Um, so uh, I might post some of them, and then you'll see the I take a picture of the engine I want to put on there. So you guys will see that. Um, I'm also doing this so the guy at Holy Cross can see what the problem is because I tried to send him the video that I shot on my phone, but the email wouldn't work. So I figured post it on YouTube. And then send it to him, so. Um, but here's what it sounds like, and it does not sound pretty. And then to make matters worse, the simplicity decided, the belt decided to make, commit Harry Carry. When I was using it, I was mowing, it was cutting just fine, and it went, it just stopped. And I'm like, and then I wonder, I'm like, oh, did it, like, is, did it overheat or something? Well, I go to try to kick it on, and it, you could hear the thing go, like when you put the PT on, you hear it click, like you could hear the thing try to engage. Nothing happened. Got off, saw the belt. Um, the belt is probably um, broken. Actually, that's the first, knock on wood, that's the first pr real problem the Simplicity's had this year. Besides the little discharge flap coming up, but that's cheap plastic. That discharge flap has been through hell and back, let me just tell you. Um, but here's the video. And just keep your fingers crossed that that Turf Tiger can... We can keep it running. The Ferris is running fine. Um, no problems with it. The good news is about the Tiger is you can drive it. But it just doesn't sound like it used to, so... I don't know, I'll keep you guys posted, but... It also depends on what the church decides. I have no say. I'm just hoping maybe we can get a good deal. Or if I can find something, maybe if I can find a good deal, maybe 
keep the old turf tiger, you know, still fix it up. Or maybe keep it as a backup. I don't know. Yeah, I can't make the calls. I wish I could. I wish I could win the lottery. Buy a Holy Cross a nice turf tiger. Huh, but, you know, you gotta have that money. And we, you know, it's tough. Because maintaining all those mowers ain't cheap, so. Uh, but I'll keep you guys informed. So just check this video out and uh, we'll let you know. So peace out for now, guys. And I will be uploading some videos here soon. what the problem would be if it's a bearing or a gearbox that'd be awesome so well if you can at least make this last till this end of the season that'd be awesome uh, if anyone is wondering now Here's the model info, I'll take a picture of it too. It was mowing great earlier, and then it all of a sudden just started having this problem, so. <sighs> Frustrating. Side. We're in. I'm gonna use the simplicity a little today. It didn't get used much. Does it have gas? Oh yeah, no, it still has a full tank. So here's the Tiger. As you can see, we were trying to, we did a little testing yesterday to see if maybe we could figure something out. Good old Husqvarna. throttle see what I like to do is it's hard to tell like when it's on low throttle it's hard to tell when it's so what I do is I get all the full and then kind of rev it down to right about here so here we go little more throttle less choke
Yep. Did the exact same thing. Fire it back up. Worse than it did with yesterday. So I think it's either the 